This tutorial is designed to accompany Appendix D using Excel to solve enzyme kinetics problems. We are working on problem two. We have just finished constructing a line weaver bird plot, and we have determined that the type of inhibition is non-competitive inhibition, a special case in which the inhibitor binds both to the enzyme and to the enzyme substrate complex with equal affinity. In that case, the Km and the Km apparent will be the same. We can use our line S data to calculate the values of Vmax and Km with and without the inhibitor. The value of Vmax is simply the inverse of the y-intercept. So we can calculate it like this and adjust the number of significant figures. It will be easier for us to calculate the Km if we first determine the x-intercept. And that's equal to the negative of the y-intercept divided by the slope. And again, oh, that, uh, we, we can adjust the uh, number of significant figures. The Km then is simply the negative of the reciprocal of the x-intercept. Similarly, we can calculate the Vmax in the presence of the inhibitor by taking the reciprocal of the y-intercept in the presence of the inhibitor. Similarly, we can calculate the x-intercept in the presence of the inhibitor, which is again negative of the y-intercept divided by the slope. The Km then again is the negative of the inverse of the x-intercept. We note that in this case, the Km and the Km apparent within experimental error are the same. But we also know that the Vmax and the Vmax um, with the inhibitor are not the same. The Vmax in the absence of the inhibitor is 4.68 millimolar per minute, and it decreases by almost half in the presence of the inhibitor to 2.88 millimolar per minute. So what this means is that we next have to calculate the value of alpha primed. And remember, we calculate the value of alpha primed because we need that value in order to determine the value of Ki primed. We don't have to figure out the value of alpha because alpha equals alpha primed. So when we calculate the value of alpha primed, then we also know the value of alpha. In this case, alpha primed is determined by comparing the values of the Vmaxes with and without inhibitor. So if we take the value of the Vmax without the inhibitor and divide by the Vmax with the inhibitor, we obtain the value of alpha primed. What this means is that the velocity of this reaction decreases by a factor of 1.62, by a factor of alpha primed in the presence of the inhibitor. Now that we have that value of alpha primed, we can use that value plus the concentration of the inhibitor given in the problem as 5 micromolar, and we can use that to solve the value of Ki primed, which is an affinity constant for the inhibitor binding to the enzyme substrate complex and to the enzyme in this case, because Ki primed and Ki are equal. We learned in the previous tutorial that alpha primed is equal to 1 plus the inhibitor concentration over Ki primed. We can rearrange this equation to equal Ki primed is equal to the inhibitor concentration over alpha primed minus 1. So let's enter that data in this box right here. So we take the inhibitor concentration given in the problem, 5 micromolar, divided by alpha primed minus 1. And this gives us the value of Ki primed. And let's adjust the significant figures. Again, this is a case where Ki primed is equal to Ki because alpha primed is equal to alpha. 
And because Ki primed and Ki are affinity constants for the inhibitor binding to the enzyme into the enzyme substrate complex, in this case, the inhibitor binds both equally. That isn't the case for all types of non-competitive inhibition, but it is true in this case.